A fallacy is an error in reasoning that renders an argument invalid. They're like debating landmines if you're not careful. Boom! Your argument is left in shambles. So, let's explore some of the most common fallacies, shall we? Right then, gather around. We'll cover six of the most dastardly fallacies you might encounter. 1. Ad hominem Ah, oh, the classic personal attack. Who needs logic when you can insult someone's haircut? To counter this, remind your opponent that the issue at hand has nothing to do with your point. 2. Straw man This is when your opponent misrepresents your argument, making it easier to attack. It's like fighting a scarecrow instead of the real thing. Just point out that they're attacking a fabrication, not your actual stance. 3. False Dichotomy This fallacy forces an either-slash-or situation when more options exist. When confronted with this, remind your opponent that life isn't black and white, and there's a whole spectrum of grey in between. 4. Slippery slope Your opponent claims that if A happens, then Z will inevitably follow. To counter this, emphasize that no evidence supports this disastrous chain of events. 5. Appeal to authority Your opponent cites a so-called expert to back the claim. Politely ask for the expert's credentials and point out that expertise in one field doesn't guarantee expertise in another. 6. Circular Reasoning Your opponent's argument relies on its own conclusion. It's like a snake eating its tail. Really? Point out the lack of independent evidence and watch that argument crumble. Now that we're armed with our fallacy-fighting knowledge, Let's put it to the test. We'll analyze three debate scenarios and you can play along to see if you can spot the fallacies before I reveal them. Ready? Let's go! Example 1 I believe that we should invest more in renewable energy sources. Oh, so you want to destroy our economy and put millions of hardworking people out of jobs? How very considerate of you! Did you spot it? Debater B employed a strawman fallacy by misrepresenting Debater A's argument. Debater A could counter them by saying, That's not my argument at all. I'm advocating for a gradual transition to renewable energy, which could create new job opportunities. Example 2 I think we should consider adopting a universal healthcare system. Well, my uncle, who's a doctor, says that universal healthcare will lead to longer wait times and lower quality care, so it must be a bad idea. Ah, <sighs> yes, the classic appeal to authority fallacy. Debater A could counter by questioning the uncle's expertise in healthcare policy and pointing out that one person's opinion doesn't represent the entire system. Example 3 I believe that we should implement stricter gun control laws. That's ridiculous! First, you'll take away our guns, and then you'll come for our knives. And before we know it, we'll all be living under a tyrannical government. Slippery slope fallacy? Anyone? Debater B suggests a chain of events without any evidence. Debater A could counter by stating that they're only advocating for specific reasonable restrictions, not a complete ban on weapons or an Orwellian dystopia. Active listening is a powerful tool in debate. Pay attention to your opponent's arguments and adjust your strategy accordingly. Like switching characters or changing tactics in a battle to gain an advantage. Flexibility is vital both on and off the battlefield. Here are a few extra tips and tricks. When entering a debate, knowing your opponent is crucial. You must understand your enemy's strengths and weaknesses. Please take a moment to analyze their argument, identify their fallacies, and prepare a strategic counterattack, 
like selecting a suitable unit to exploit an enemy's weakness. Like in an intense battle, keeping your cool is essential in a debate. Don't let your emotions take control. Instead, focus on presenting your argument logically and coherently. Remember, a calm demeanor will make your points more persuasive like a well-planned strategy on the battlefield. Well, my dear debate warriors, all good things must come to an end. Remember, knowing these fallacies and how to counter them will give you a leg up in debate. But please, use your newfound powers responsibly. Feel free to comment on any additional fallacies, debate tips or any thoughts you may have. Ciao!